everyone. Welcome to RP Resonance Chemistry. Now let's continue our lectures on organometallic chemistry. So this is the lecture number two. In previous video, I have to cover a basic introduction and the history of the organometallic compounds uh, along with that a small topic, uh, how to find the hepticity of different different ligands. Okay. Now in this in this lecture, uh, so the content is so how to find the electron counts, how to how to calculate the electrons in different different ligands. Okay, so how to find the electrons in different different ligands in the uh, normal ligands as well as bridge ligands along with that uh, how to predict the uh, formal charge of uh, specific ligands uh, formal charge of specific ligands. Okay, that is the content of uh, this video. Okay, so now electron count method. What is the applications of electron count method? That is the uh, major thing. Okay, so based on the electron count method, so it have the plenty of applications. Uh, the mainly it is mainly it is used for the three applications. So based on the electron count method, we can predict uh, whether it it follows the eighteen electron rule or not. Okay, so if it follows the eighteen electron rule, those complexes, those compounds are stable compounds. If it does not follow the eighteen electron rule, those are the unstable compounds. So those are the unstable compounds. That is the first application. Now in the second application. So based on the electron count method, we can predict uh, how many metal metal bonds are there. How many metal metal bonds are there? That is the second application. Now the third application, third application. So based on the electron count method, it was uh, fixed uh, whether the ligand is uh, like a terminal one or bridged one. Okay. So the like a classification of ligands, whether it is a terminal one or bridged one, uh, it is also mainly based on the electron count method. So not only terminal bridged, sometimes uh, like in case in case of uh, like a nitro cells, whether it is a linear one or bent one. So that is also important topic uh, regarding to the electron count method. So these are the plenty of applications regarding to the electron count method. Okay. So this is the simple, uh, simple topic. So when the based on the electron count method, we can predict how many electrons contributes a ligand to the central metal atom. Okay, simply a ligand contributes some electrons to the metal atom. So that is the calculation of electron count method. Now let's move on to the very simple ligands. So that is the carbonyl, our favorite one, metal carbonyl. So now we know that carbonyl having the like a carbon and oxygen each one having the one lone pair each one having the one lone pair based on the like a carbon carbon monoxide formation structure okay so here carbon it having the one one pair of electron one lone pair and oxygen it having the also one pair of electron so whenever these carbonyl compound which treated with metal atom so which can bind the only one atom either carbon or oxygen so definitely only one atom it, it uh, attached the metal atom okay so we don't know whether it is attached to the carbon atom or uh, oxygen atom so let's look down the so those concept so carbon is less electronegative than the oxygen so oxygen is more electronegative generally a simple statement from organic chemistry so the more electronegativity atoms the more electronegativity atoms less nucleophilic it having the less nucleophilic that means so electronegativity if electronegativity increases, nucleophilicity decreases. Electronegativity increases, nucleophilicity decreases. That means uh, the more electronegative, less nucleophile. Less electronegative, more nucleophile. So the more nucleophilic uh, atom which bonds the which uh, uh, contributes their pair of electrons to the central metal atom. Now here, so this is the carbon monoxide, like a carbonyl ligand. So in carbonyl ligand, so this carbonyl ligand, how many electrons contributed by the carbon carbonyl ligand to the central metal atom? So here, a simply a pair of electron. How many electron? Just two electron. Just two electron. So this is the neutral ligand. So neutral ligand, it contributes just two electrons. So that is the two electrons from carbonyl from carbonyl okay a carbonyl compound it contributes a, a pair of electrons to the central metal atom so that is the two electrons so here n and o so those n stands for the neutral method calculation for 18 electron rule o stands for the oxygen oxidation state method calculation so oxidation state method mainly based on the formal charge now i'll explain the later okay so simply so formal charge of like a very simple uh, con conclusion formal charge of any new neutral ligand is zero so that's why both the cases it donates a uh, two electrons only both the cases it donates two electrons now let us discuss some other ligands okay now in case of uh, like a carbon uh, thiocarbonyl uh, that is same like a phosphine ligand pr3 so here PR3 also it having the one pair of electron, it contributes only a pair, a lone pair of electrons. That is, that is also two electrons only. Okay. So now in case of NR3, we don't know how NR3 it having the only one lone pair. Let's look down. So N uh, outermost configuration is a 2s2, 2p3. So 2s2, so 2p3. 
okay so this here it having the three unpaired electron those three unpaired electron like a shared by the three alkyl groups and it forms the sp3 hybridized and sp3 hybridization along with one lone pair okay so that lone pair was represented like this so these lone pair of uh, lone pair of electrons contributes uh, it forms the metal with a uh, like any metal compound okay so now here also it contributes a pair of electron that is a two okay so simply carbonyls thiocarbonyls phosphines amines amides it ca it contributes two electrons only either neutral method or oxidation method either neutral method or oxidation method it is very uh, simple a simple one now let us uh, move on like a uh, hydrogen halogen alkyl group aryl group acyl group alkoxide group and, and phosphine group okay so the here halogen so the halogen that means uh, any halogen like a uh, uh, chlorine or bromine whatever it may be so that is a uh, ns2 np5 so ns2 np5 so here two electrons one two three four five so this is the like a uh, configure electronic configuration of a halogen atom so here halogen atom having the only one unpaired electron so those unpaired electron shared with metal a single electron and it forms the one bond and it forms the one bond so that means uh, here only one electron contributes the metal atom only one electron it contributes the metal halogen bonding okay so it only contributes only one electron like similarly hydrogen is also one so alkyl group is also one uh, aryl group is also one acyl group is also one so alkoxyl groups phosphido groups so like a thiolato groups so all the groups it contributes only one electron in neutral method in neutral method so now in case of uh, like a uh, second method that is oxidation state method so the oxidation state method mainly depends upon the formal charge so generally x so x it is considered as x minus x it is considered as x minus and h is considered as h minus alkyl group is considered as r minus phenyl minus so c o r minus okay so o r minus p r 2 minus s r minus okay so based on the charge so a minus charge in, uh, it means uh, a pair of electrons so the negative means two electrons we know that the plus is zero electrons so radical is only one electron and a negative charge is two electrons so a negative charge indicates uh, the contribution of uh, any negative charge like and two electrons okay now here x minus two electrons h minus two electrons r minus two electrons phenyl minus two electrons so co r minus two electrons o r minus two electrons pr2 minus also two electrons thiolate are also two electrons so in oxidation method based on the formal charge it was calculated it was calculated again a nitrosyl compound so a nitrosyl compound it has the two type of structure one is the bent structure this is very important one so can you okay so can you note one so nitrosyl compound it is the bent type structure and it is another one is a linear type structure so bent type structure so in neutral method bent type molecule it contributes only one electron okay and no down so in in bent type of structure bent type of structure especially in a neutral method it contributes only one electron but linear method it contributes uh, three electrons so this is the nitrogen so here it having the so one unpaired electron and one pair of electron so in case of bent method so these the lone pair of orbitals uh, these lone pair orbitals in different plane so that's why it, it contributes only one electron so that's why in nitrosyl bent nitrosyl bent nitrosyl only one electron contributes so but in case of linear one that means all are in the same plane so here it contributes the two or two, three electrons okay so the metal atom shifted like this this at these lone pair of electrons are shifted towards the oxygen atom now here totally overally so three electrons was contributed by the linear structure three electrons was contributed by the linear structure this is the an exceptional case okay so nitrosyl bent molecule is only one electron donor so nitrosyl uh, like linear molecule is the three electron donor but uh, in oxidation state both are in two electron donor both are in two electron donor now let's look down uh, so another examples like it, it is also very uh, pretty easier pretty easier examples isocyanide so a carbon pair of electrons now dihydrogen so hydrogen that means uh, hh -H. so here sigma bonded electrons it contributes those sigma bonded electrons to the central metal atom so a bond indicates two electrons those two electrons contributed to this central metal so that indicates here two electron donor so in both the cases that is a two electron donor dinitrogen here also it having the pair of electron those pair of electron and nitrogen atom it contributes the metal so now here in case of alkene 
so it is it is an uh, important one so it is the alkene so alkene having the one cc sigma, sigma bond another one is the pi bond okay so those pi bonded electrons shares their pi bonded electrons to the central metal atom only pi bonded electrons can contribute to the binding with a uh, metal so that's why it is uh, only two electron donor in both the cases only two electron donor in both the cases like alkyne so alkyne also it having the three bonds that means uh, one sigma two pi bonds one sigma two pi bonds so in in alkyne case also only one pi bonded electron contributes uh, 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 contributes the metal atom that means only one pi bond that is a two electron donor in both the cases like a carbene so it is a uh, it is a different one like a carbene so carbene one so that is a metal carbon double bond is nothing but carbene one okay so here carbene that indicates uh, so a pair of electron over there so those pair of electron it contributes the metal atom so that means uh, it contributes a pair of electron so that is in the form of carbon intermediate so only two electron donor two electron donor so but in the case of uh, like oxidation method it appears uh, cr2 minus 2 cr2 minus 2 this is the carbon so cr2 minus 2 so that minus 2 e each minus having the pair of electrons so 2 minus that means are uh, four electrons so that appears are uh, four electrons now in case of carbine okay so carbine here also carbine means a uh, three uh, uh, like a uh, three bonds so three bonds means uh, it having the so th it contributes a three pair of electrons in neutral method and uh, simply here cr minus three that indicates a uh, six electrons cr minus three that is six electron count six electron count so here it is very pretty easier one uh, that is the based on the hepticity molecule so in previous video i have to cover those hepticity how to find the hepticity of any ligand okay so in neutral method so can you remember one thing so in neutral method what is the hepticity power n okay what is the number of hepticity power n so that is the like a uh, number of electron contribution so let's look down so here eta 1 only one electron eta 3 three electrons eta 1 one electron eta 3 three electrons eta 5 five electrons eta 6 six electrons eta 3 three eta 4 four eta 6 six so that is the very simple one so in case of neutral method if you, if you wanted to calculate the eight electron rule by the by the help of a neutral method so what is the hepticity over there so that is the like a uh, number of electron contribution number of electron contribution but based on the uh, uh, like uh, oxidation state it was different okay so now in case of alkyl group so here a carbon atom single atom so in whatever the group it forms the one bond that indicates a pair of electrons are there so that means here two electrons are contributed in oxidation method oxidation method that is that is simply it is nothing but ch2 like a ch double bond ch2 so this is the li anion okay so those li anion contributes the, their negative charge to the metal atom so that the case two electron donor two electron donor ch3 sorry c3 H5 minus 2, C3, like H5 minus 2, sorry, minus 1 only, C3, H5 minus, so that is the allyl carbonium, allyl carbonium. Now, in the second case, in second case, so eta 3 allyl complex, so double bond here the negative charge in case of oxidation method I, I, I discussed about oxidation method only so the negative charge and a pair of electrons it contributes that means uh, double bond two electrons negative two electrons so totally four electron donor so allyl carbonium four electron donor but in case of uh, allyl cation cation is zero electron donors so now here it contributes only two electrons so that is the two electron donor so negative c3 like uh, in case of c3 like uh, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, C3, H5 minus is a 4 electron donor, C3, H5 plus is 2 electron donor, so C3, H5 minus 4 electron donor, C3, H5 plus is 2 electron donor, so now in case of CP, we know that CP is nothing but a cyclopentadienyl anion, So anion indicates it is the negative charge. So those negative charge contributes to the metal atom, a pair of electron, but in case of uh, C theta 3, eta 3 and eta 3 means uh, it contributes these carb these two carbon atoms that means one pi bond one negative charge four electrons so in case of eta 5 so eta 5 means uh, overall all the two double bonds one one negative charge that is a uh, three that means a uh, three equivalents of uh, double bonds so two double bond equivalent and one negative equivalent that is a six electron donor so in case of oxidation method eta 5 is a six electron donor eta 5 is 6 electron donor so benzene it having the 3 pi bond electron so those uh, like in case of chromosomes uh, so both the both the case uh, either uh, neutral one or oxidation one so it contributes only 6 electrons it contributes only the same 6 electrons 
Now, in case of eta 3 of C7H8, that means uh, like a cycloheptal cycloheptal compound, so unsaturated cycloheptal compound. So, that is eta 3 C7H8. If hydrogen number is increased, that means one is the sp3 carbon atom. Okay, so here one hydrogen is increased, that means one is the sp3 carbon atom. So, C7H8 eta 3. So, eta 3 is in uh, like a C, C, eta 3 C3 C7H8. I think uh, this uh, like a uh, simple one. So let's imagine. So here it is the negative one. So C seven H seven. Let's imagine C seven H seven. So these three carbon atoms are contributed. So these three carbon atoms are contributed. So in general one eta three. But in case of uh, like uh, oxidation method, so one negative charge and one pi bond that is four electrons. Okay. So C seven H seven. Not correct. C seven H seven. Okay. So in case of uh, equal number, that is the like total delocalization or uh, excess of hydrogen is there that is sp3 and like a, a saturated compound is present saturated carbon is present but in case of eta 4 c7 h8 eta 4 c7 h8 in this case uh, in this case here it is the sp3 carbon atom so eta 4 means uh, two pi bonded electrons that is uh, four electrons by the neutral method so as uh, usually oxidation method also here there is no charge that's why so oxidation and neutral method having the same number of electrons so eta 6 c7 h8 so that means the third one is also contributed so both the cases are six only both the cases six only but the next one eta 7 c7 h7 eta 7 c7 h7 so here if let's imagine whether it is positive charge if it is a positive charge that means three double bonds six electrons positive means zero positive means zero so it, in this case of these kind of electrons can account so that is the six only but in case of oxidation state only six why because positive is zero three double bonds are there six electrons only but uh, based on the hepticity neutral method is a uh, seven electrons so here also based on the hepticity neutral method is eight uh, but in case of c8 h8 uh, minus two so that means here this is the negative two negative charges so minus two that means a five equal five double bond equivalence that is a 10 electrons so eta 3 c3 h3 eta 3 c3 h3 like a, this is the very simple one like eta 3 c3 h3 in case of a positive what will happen but in case of a negative what will happen let's imagine okay so in case of a positive charge so this is the aromatic compound that's why it is only it is stable it is unstable it is unstable so in case of a positive one that means a cyclopropenyl cation cyclopropenyl cation so only one pi bonded electron is present positive means zero electrons and one pi bond means two electrons two plus zero just two electrons in case of a cation in case of Cation. That is the very simple and very useful method to predict the to predict the electron count in case of metal metal bonds as well as like a 18 electron group. No, so uh, another method is there that is the bridging ligands. Another another kind of ligands are present. So that is the bridging ligands. So one is the carbonyl bridging, okay, and halogen bridging, hydrogen bridging, alkyl bridging, like a amide, phosphide, alkoxide bridging ligands okay so again finally alkene ligands now let's discuss the like a carbonyl bridging ligand so this is the carbonyl compound so uh, this is the carbon oxygen double bond only okay now in case of uh, like a double bond character here one electron present in the one orbital another electron present in the another orbital not the a pair of electron it is not a pair of electron it is a two individual electrons so those electron contributes the one metal atom so here another electron contributes the another metal atom that means uh, in bridged case it is the bridged case bridged means uh, so a ligand uh, which is binded between the more than one metal so which is binded between the more than one metal that is called a bridging ligand so here only two metals are there so those two metals are simply represented as mu2 based on the coordination chemistry okay so coordination prefix ligands are from bridged one okay so if three metals are contributed mu3 okay mu3 so not mu3 so mu3 so this is the bridged ligand so in case of uh, bridged ligands uh, carbon uh, like a carbon uh, monoxide it contributes two unpaid of electrons with two metals so that's why it contributes only two electrons in both the ox neutral method and oxidation method so this is the neutral one that's why so both the cases is common now so in case of halogen now what will happen in case of halogen so this is the metal halogen exchange that means metal halogen so here so seven electrons present at the metal atoms simply seven electrons present at the metal atom so one electron and metal one electron these two are shared 
and it forms the covalent bond that means a metal halogen bond so the first bond here it contributes only one electron in case of a normal one so metal halogen it contributes only one electron only one electron so but uh, it 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 forms the another metal bond it forms the another metal halogen bond so that was the time it requires a, a pair of electron donation a pair of electron donation so here one here two totally three electron donor totally three electron donor totally three electron donor so this was the three electron donor but in case of oxidation method so oxidation method that means uh, x minus uh, negative means uh, so here it it forms the like two bond it forms the two electrons uh, two electrons from the metal halogen bond and another two electrons from the like a donation of a pair of electrons so two plus two four electrons two plus two very simple one four electrons so in similarly hydrogen is also it forms the like a metal halogen bridge type of ligand a metal hydrogen bridge type of ligand so hydrogen hydrogen so hydrogen it having the only one electron so those electrons it contributes the two metal atoms so those electrons one uh, it was the time uh, it contributes one electron with uh, one metal atom and another one is uh, like a uh, sharing of electrons that is the another atom so in neutral method only one electron donor but in case of uh, oxidation method so two electron donor that means uh, h minus so oxidation step in H minus H minus contributes their pair of electrons to with the different two metal atoms. Now alkyl groups like in case of uh, not alkyl groups, alkyl groups is also a kind of a carbonyl uh, geometry. Now amide phosphide alkoxide it contributes uh, three electrons in a neutral method, four electrons in oxidation method. Now let's uh, discuss the alkoxide method. So here also here it is the alkoxide simply in case of alkoxide. So that indicates uh, here one unpaired electron is there. So metal having the one unpaired electron. These two are forms the one bond. These two are forms the first bond. That means uh, here one electron donated from the alkoxide group, from the OR group. Again, it contributes with another metal. So that means uh, the pair of electrons contributes the another metal atom. So in this case, metal, ox metal oxygen metal. That means metal ligand metal. That is the bridged case. So in case of a bridged type of compound, so here one electron from the first bond. So two electrons from the donation of a, a pair of electrons to the metal atom, second metal atom. So totally three electrons from neutral oxidation method three so all the all the, these three ligands exhibits the same kind of uh, same kind of uh, like a uh, same kind okay now in case of uh, oxidation state uh, here it is the, it appears as ro minus one is the pair of electron donor another one is the minus charge contribution so it contributes four electrons it contributes four electrons so now the final one that is the metal c triple bond c so in case of alkyne groups in case of alkyne groups so a pair of electrons it contributes the metal atom so one double bond is contributed a pair of electrons that means uh, here two electron donation so another pair of, another pi bond another pi bond it contributes another metal atom that is the case only we absorbed uh, so it is the bridge ligand okay so the in this case uh, alkyne act as a bridge ligand here it is the two electron donor another type of another kind another position also having the two electron donor totally four electrons in both the cases for totally four electrons in both the cases so this is the very simplest explanation regarding to the electron count method i hope it is very helpful okay now let us discuss the another one that is the formal charge okay now let us discuss the formal charge so formal charge it is if any compound is there r rhodium pph3 taken three times cl so this is the a complex okay so a complex it having the some charge over there in the top of the molecule so that is the charge so that charge is equal to the that charge is equal to the so oxidation state of a metal plus oxidation state of a pl metal plus uh, like a formal charge of ligands total formal charge of ligands formal charge of ligands here it is the formal charge here it is the formal charge so formal charge is mainly depends upon the oxidation state method so what is the like representation of a ligand so that is the formal charge so now here in case of a carbonyl compounds that is the neutral all the case it is the zero so the formal charge is zero formal charge is zero but in case of a halogen so it, it appears uh, x power minus that indicates here the like a formal charge is minus one h minus minus one ph minus minus one so r minus minus one like a co minus minus one o r minus minus one minus one minus one okay so this is the formal charge so in case of bent one so this is the minus one but a linear one it is the positive plus one so this is the like a formal charge count method formal charge count method now here so these these having the like a 
neutral one that's why all the cases it is zero the formal charge is zero but here cr minus two so this one carbene having the minus two and carbide carbine having the three carbine having the three so here it is c3 h5 minus one so in this case minus one c3 h5 minus one here minus one in, in presence of a four electron donor plus one in presence of a two electron donor two electron donor so n1 cp so based on the negative charge on the like a hapacity it was predicted so if it having the one negative charge that is the minus one it having the two negative charge that is the plus uh, like a minus two based on that we, we will predict the like a uh, formal charge of uh, hepatocity ligands, hepatocity based ligands, but it having the, some of the exceptions also. Now let us discuss those exceptions. So now in case of uh, any metal and uh, uh, carbon bond, so carbon is more electronegative than the metal atom, we know that, okay. So uh, more electronegativity atom, it pulls the electron curves towards itself, that was the class uh, metal positive and C minus, metal positive and C minus. So this is the simply carbon, all the carbon atoms it having the mainly negative charge but along with some exceptions. So now in case of uh, a simple molecule, that is the last one, C3H3+, so that is the cyclic compound. So here it is the metal bond. Okay, so now let us compare uh, a simple molecule. So this is the very simple molecule. Okay, so cyclopropane which contributes the metal atom. So this is the case. Cyclopropane is the negative charge. Metal is the positive charge. But uh, here the negative and positive cannot appear. Cannot appear. Why? Because, so if it is a negative charge, so it having the four electrons, those four electrons cannot follow the Huckel 4 and plus 2 rule. So that, that is the case, it, it appears in the in the form of a positive, that is the two electrons. Those two electrons, it obeys the Huckel 4 and plus 2 pi electron rule. It follows the Huckel 4 and plus 2 pi electron rule. It exists the aromaticity. It exists at the aromaticity. So that is the case. So here positive charge, here negative charge. Here positive charge, here negative charge. That is the case. C3, H3 plus is there. So formal charge is 1. Formal charge is 1, not the minus 1. Not the minus 1. That is the exception. In another case, like in case of tropelium 1. So tropelium 1, it is also a simple one. So tropelium 1, here it is the positive. So in case of a positive that existed, positive that existed, then metal is also negative. Okay, so if it is a positive, so metal is the negative charge. Metal is the negative charge. Now in this case, C7, H7 positive. So in this case, 6 electron donor. 6 electron donor. So these are the, like a very mild, uh, like exceptional case in formal charge. Again, one more exception is there, that is a phenyl minus. So uh, like in, in previous case, we are, uh, we are, uh, uh, seek out uh, like uh, aromaticity so based on the aromaticity but in this case here benzene along with the negative charge that means uh, totally eight electrons so eight electrons uh, eight electrons uh, it 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 is an um, it not follows the huckel 4 and plus 2 rule that is the question okay i think this is not a question so when once you watch the my uh, aromaticity video you cannot uh, uh, you cannot raise these kind of questions why because so these negative charge uh, uh, present in the uh, uh, like uh, perpendicular to the delocalized plane okay perpendicular to the delocalized plane that means uh, it is uh, these negative charged electrons present away from the delocalized plane so those away from the delocalized plane electrons cannot ca cannot calculate a cool 4 and plus 2 rule that's why here only we will calculate six electrons those six electrons uh -huh aromaticity rule it follows the aromaticity rule so this is the very brief explanation regarding to the like electron count method electron count method in uh, plenty of example i hope it is very helpful for you guys so if you like the video please share to your friends it is very helpful for them also okay so uh, next video i have to make the next video based on the 18 electron rule okay thank you so much for watching